Uh, hello guys welcome to this uh, video so in this video we will show you a new vs code extension where you can actually test your rest apis directly inside Vis visual studio code you don't need postman you don't need to leave vs code you can directly create a rest file and just make a get request or a post request so let me just show you so this is the request that we created we get a send request button right here and on the right hand side you will get the result after you make this request you will get this json response that you can clearly see in the vs code itself so the extension name is rest client and uh, if you go to the extensions type just type rest client let me uninstall it and install it once again so this is the extension it's a rest client for visual studio code and it has got almost 5.1 million downloads it's a very popular extension so many a times you need to test out rest apis while you are developing or test out third party apis so this extension may be useful for that purposes so click on the install button so it will be installed globally inside your system so now to use this extension we do need to create a rest file so just create sample dot rest file so the name can be anything but the extension need to be rest so just put a rest extension and just create this file so right inside this file so we can just write a simple comment that we are making a get request and here you can just write some sample description we are fetching users from json placeholder api so here the method will be get so as soon as you write the method get right here you will see this button right here send request button and here you now need to provide the url to which you are making the get request so we will be using this json placeholder api typocode.com slash users so this will fetch the users in a json response and here we do need to x provide the content type so accept and we will be accepting the data so you can see various uh, drop downs various suggestions are coming either you can accept in gzip javascript json so typically the data from rest apis will be coming application slash json so now we can simply click on the send request button so as soon as you click this button you will see on the right hand side the json response has come from the third party api right in the vs code itself you don't need to leave the vs code and simply you can see the data coming from the rest api so this is a really useful extension and uh, now if you want to make a post request you need to just change let me change this to a post request for creating a user so here we will simply change the method name from get to post and the url will remain constant but this time content type we need to say content type because we will be passing a user so here we will simply need to say content type and then application slash json so this drop down makes it really easy so if you basically forgot you can see in the drop down suggestions so this extension makes it really easy to send out these rest api request and here need to pass a user that needs to be created so it will have three properties the name of the user then we just need to provide the username property and the email property so we have provided these three properties we are sending a simple post request to this uh, rest api so if i click the button send request and now you will see the 201 status code is returned to us which is means the record has been created and all search information content type content length connection all this information is returned to us you can see that the date of the request this is the expiry date so now if you see the response that user is successfully created and id is returned to us which is a unique id which is assigned to it which is name username email that we provided 
so this is actually a very good extension guys you can try out with any api which is there you just need to know the url of it just create a rest file provide this method here paste the url and then you can make any request so similarly we do have other types of requests as well so if you want to delete a user you will simply say delete so instead of post we will simply say delete so here we don't need to provide this we just need to provide the id here so we need to delete the first user so we will pass in the id right here which is a query parameter right here so it will delete the first user so if i click send request 200 status code is returned to us so the that user is successfully deleted and you will actually get an empty response so that user is successfully deleted and similarly you if you want to update a user so four four operations are there in rest api either you can read user delete user create user and update the user and for updating it we can either make a put request so this time will be update the user so for updating it is a patch or put so you can use a put request and same will be updating the first user so we are providing the id right here as a query parameter and then we do need to provide the details of the user again we need to provide application slash json so now to update the user we will again provide that object which will contain these three properties name username email so we provided these updated details so if i send the request so now the that user will be updated with these details that we provided the id will be returned to us and 200 status code again it is returned so in this way you can make all the four operations in rest api with any api in vs code using this extension so it's a very nice extension i personally use this extension a lot while we develop apis or i use any sort of apis so it's a great extension you must install it so and thank you very much for watching this video and do check out my website as well freemediatools.com which contains thousands of free tools related to audio, video and image and I will be seeing you in the next video.